chat GPT request requires almost 10 times more electricity than a Google search? In tonight's Eye on America, Ben Tracy looks at the data centers that drive our digital lives and their growing demands for energy. This is a Google data center outside of Reno, Nevada. It's hard to imagine that there is a physical location where the internet lives, but this is it. Inside are endless rows of servers and miles of cables, the arteries of the internet. This is everything from like somebody's doing a Google search, somebody's watching a cat video, and that's all coming through here. Absolutely, it's all that and more. Amanda Peterson Corio is Google's global head of data center energy. Uh, and these fans are cooling our data centers. On the rooftop, she showed us the hundreds of fans that keep all those computers humming. This is just one of at least 2,700 data centers that stretch from the suburbs of Virginia to the deserts of the West. They are mostly run by big tech firms and consume more than 4% of all electricity in the U.S. in 2022. That's projected to more than double to 9% by 2030. The nation's aging grid is also threatened by the soaring demands of artificial intelligence. It uses nearly 10 times the electricity of a typical internet search. Is this amount of electricity use sustainable? It's a real challenge. As we look to the next decade, those demands continue to grow. And the real challenge is figuring out how can we do this in a way that meets our climate goals. 